Hello everyone, welcome to Felipe's Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at the other LEGO 2021 Chinese New Year set, Story of Nan. So this set contains 1,067 pieces and retail at 120 New Zealand dollars. It includes six minifigures, a brick-built mythical beast Nan, and a facade of the family home entrance. And we're going to take a look at the uh, mythical Nan beast first, then we'll go through the facade build and finally the mini figures. And here's a close look at the Nan beast. So it looks like a lion, but actually it's not a lion, but a mythical creature that feeds it during the New Year season uh, to uh, defile children that it can get to. Surprisingly, it's a very interesting build. You've got some uh, articulation points around the legs, uh, the tail, and also the neck, and also the jaw as well. And here is a new color banana piece around the uh, eye area, which is a similar technique that been uh, introduced in the Lion Dance set last year. And this is the tail, and it's a very interesting build here. This is probably some uh, crackers or fireworks. Maybe that's why the Nan beast is a fear of fire, so it doesn't light up. And I really like how they use uh, these pieces here to uh, create the style of the neck. One of the interesting things is that the eyes are not fixed, but you can actually you know, rotate this uh, piece here uh, to uh, create a different type of expression. Um, then the whole beast looks like kind of not as menacing as before if you uh, you know turn the eyes around. And you can see there are lots of uh, small details around the whole build, and I really enjoyed the building of the particular mythical beast. And now we take a look at the family home entrance. Uh, although this is a facade build, you can see, you know, it's quite thin for, for this particular entrance and the wall. But to my surprise, you do get lots of space in front of the entrance. If I put it in this angle, you will notice how much space you get. And because it's the winter season, they use uh, white color to uh, represent, you know, most of the places being uh, covered by snow. I do wonder if there's any other design that you can use to uh, create the uh, dripping snow effect because you know this looks like spike and a potential hazard. And here is a very interesting use of the mob piece in green color to create some plantation. And you need to get a ladder for the minifigures to climb up to uh, maintain the wall. A different style of snowman, but I'm not sure if snowman kind of fit into the Chinese New Year. And you got some fireworks here, obviously a flame to light up the fireworks. Uh, interestingly, they use the uh, superhero effect parts to create the uh, spark of the fireworks. I think it's a bit uh, too exaggerated in terms of uh, the effect. You also get two uh, bigger fireworks, uh, which is a different color, but exactly uh, the same design, which looks really nice from afar. They pretty much just secure behind the wall like this. And you can see their various point at the back, so you can adjust the position of the fireworks. But I doubt you can do something here, because if you put it here, you know, the, you'll probably only see half of the firework. And some different types of plantation on this side of the view. And the most interesting and detailed parts of this build is definitely the main entrance itself. I really like how they designed the footpath again. And even the door looks very authentic and lovely use of the ring piece to create the door handle. Um, the two uh, images here are actually stickers. So these are the only two stickers, which kind of makes sense because usually they don't uh, stick around much. It's only during the New Year's people put this type of a decoration on the doors. I've got two lanterns on top of the entrance and it's a very interesting technique here. New printed tiles on both sides of the entrance and also the top. So these tiles pretty much are phrases that you use uh, to celebrate the new year. And of course the door can be opened just by pushing it inside. And I really like the look of the entrance and you can easily customize to remove the snow or all those uh, New Year theme elements to create a, a traditional, you know, old style Chinese home entrance. And now we take a look at the six mini figures included in this set. 
First, we take a look at the two little kids. So they both have a new printed torso. I really like this uh, facial expression. I think this is new because I haven't seen any of this uh, face uh, in any uh, previous sets that I own. Uh, what I like about it is that teeth here, and he does have a uh, alternate face expression, which is uh, look more surprising. And you can see the details of the printing at the back as well. Uh, the only accessory comes with the little kid is this uh, little snowball here. And now we'll take a look at the grandparents. Uh, they both come with new printed torso, which are very nice. They have very nice uh, printing at the back as well. I surely want a lot more of this uh, variation of the torso. In terms of accessory, I don't understand why they gave um, you know, grandma that the shovel and expect her, you know, to clean up all the snow in front of the house. And for the grandfather, they gave him a tower, which used this uh, one by one flat tower to represent a tower and bucket of water and expect him to clean the wall. And only the grandmother has an alternate facial expression. And now we take a look at the final two minifigures included in this set. So on the left is a young gentleman. According to the uh, package, uh, he's the one that providing the uh, fireworks. And he has the same torso print as the little boy. And on the right is the uh, ox costume guy. Um, this is a recurring theme. So each year uh, you, you get a minifigure that wearing the costume of the animal or representing um, the, the zodiac of the year. So of course, uh, because it's ear of the ox, so he has this uh, new ox helmet. Uh, he has a uh, new printed torso, and you know it's quite weird. They also uh, gave him printing on the legs, and it's a very nice uh, mini figure. In terms of accessory, uh, this guy does comes with. Uh, let me just zoom out a little bit. Um, a series of uh, firecrackers. So pretty much, I think you know when it lighted up, it will start. You know cracking and then he will just hold it in his arm and he will just uh, keep running uh, try to uh, scare the beast away and this is the story of Nan set I think it's a very good set although it's not as good as the uh, Spring Lantern Festival uh, but I'm still surprised how much space you get from this set and the entrance looks very stunning you know in front of it of course because it's just a facade you don't get anything at the back but i think you know this is something that you can utilize if you want to create a, a similar oriental building i really like the overall building process of the nan beast as well and as with all the previous chinese news set it comes with a great selections of mini figures although i do questions why they expect the elderly to do all the cleaning up during a new year and the value is very good as well because you do get a lot from what you pay. And I would totally recommend this set to everyone. Uh, do let me know what you think about this set in the comment section below. And if you like my video, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming updates. I'll see you next time.